Hello and welcome back to Trails Through Daybreak. So in the last episode, we went through the remaining districts, Sidon, Blacklight, and uh, then did some side quests, the free time connection events, and did the little story updates where, you know, you had to walk up to a place and suddenly have a, a tiny cutscene. So we got all of those little things out of the way and then we got the main story cutscene coming up here. Sort of. They want us to go to the Auber district, Renee does, to kill a monster, which clearly is going to lead to something else. But yeah, this is our initial thing and we're going right away. My question is, do, do we get to look around or are we limited to just fighting the monster? Uh, we gather all the information, should we go take on the monster? Yeah. We are good. They contacted the rest of the group and agreed to meet with them at the nearest subway station. Also, could you tell me where Katra was? Because I couldn't find him. They then rode the train together to the Abar district. Now, oh. <laughs> I thought maybe he was secretly here the whole time. Whoa, the cathedral is huge. That's Edith Cathedral. It's the second largest cathedral in all of Calvard. Uh, biggest ones up north, right? Wait. They're all wearing the same uniform as Anius. Is that your school? <laughs> that it is. That's Artemis Academy. I never experienced the whole school life thing, so I'm kind of jealous you get to. It's a really famous school, too. I considered applying myself at one point. <laughs> there's any more out in this out of this world students like that purple haired trick. I bet it'd be a fun time. Ren is rather a special case, I'm afraid. I also suspect our math and science curriculums would be too easy for someone who helps out at the Institute of Science like you, Katra. Let's switch our brains to work mode, people. We can access the abandoned subway line from the side road and next to the cathedral, correct? Yes, that's right. I'll show you the way. Hmm? Oh. I think we're skipping looking around here. That building further down the road is our dormitory, and this one next to us is the famous cake shop. Andalusia. Oh, duh. It's right next to her. Yep, this is the famous Andalusia pat patisserie. It's owned by a legendary patissiere. Is that how you say that? Who's a master of his craft, and whose limited edition seasonal cakes are always the talk of the town. Something something work br mode brains. The cakes you guys let me try have all been amazing, so I'm not surprised they're famous. And Nina's bought me a bunch of stuff from there too, and I couldn't agree more. Perhaps we can treat ourselves to some cake on the way back to the office when this task is complete. Hmm? Cat? I swear, the cat- the cats in this game are all up to something right now. They know what- they know the true story, what's going on. This place sure is creepy! I never knew there was a railway under the city. It probably hasn't seen any use in over a decade. That's correct, actually. Records indicate it was abandoned 12 years ago when the subway was expanded. It has been left untouched ever since. And thanks to that, uh, to that, it's become a nesting ground for monsters. And this is a good find. I'll be sure to make good use of this place when I'm doing my heists. I'm still a little puzzled as to why we were sent down here, particularly at a time like this. They're carrying out biz- they're carrying on like it's business as usual. Pisses me off. I think there's more to this case than it seems. Oh! Oh! That dead monsters. Those are clean cuts. Whoever did this is clearly a, a master of their craft. I wonder who it is. Elaine? No. Could be a rival from another field, I guess. 
Either way, the CID gave us a job, so let's get it done. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. The monster is supposed to be a fair way inside, so let's pick up the pace. I mean, clearly we're meant to encounter someone, but I don't see who. I figured, oh, oh, can I actually push your body? That's weird. Not yours, though. That's, that's weird. Not that one deep. No, wait. All right. I'm on it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then you need to move back. Actually, I need to put, I need to play Rosette. Leave this to me. She's getting employee of the month, I swear. Hi. Let's get to work. I don't know who we're gonna meet. It's always exciting when they're they're completely vague about what's going on, and then and then I get to. When I can't figure out who we're going to meet or what's going on here, it's exciting to me. Hey, Deathblow. Do that. What? This thing's actually got a little bit of health. Alright, what if I what if I Raging Buster? Oh man. The fact that the, the mirror mirror chaos increases the damage of Van by so much. Enemies have top time to deploy shots. I kind of want to... Oh, no, no. They're very weak. Never mind. I, I think we're good. Actually, I could just fast forward you. Just just auto. Yeah. Nice. That was great. Treasure. EB4. <laughs> Chestiny. Open 150 chests. Is that also a... Uh, Yep. Ooh. There are 224 in the game? Oh, we're not even close. Okay. Alright, who's health? Um. Six, five, nine. I'm just giving him to reset. She, she is the lowest. Wait, if I high speed mode, I can go faster. Right. <laughs> I love how that affects the menus. And strength, I'm just going to give those to Aaron again. There we go. No enemies detected nearby. <laughs> Hi. So they picked off a few enemies, but not most of them. Why are we? Why do we only see dead bodies at the beginning? It's not very consistent. I have a feeling, whoever we're meeting, it's not. It's not. It's not a law-abiding citizen. Hey. Well, maybe. It could be the, the priest. Oh god, I forgot it. Celise? It could be Celise and... I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Also, I, I just realized with that. I forgot about the white glove. 25 speed? Ooh. That's pretty high evasion, too. Uh, 25 speed, though. No. <laughs> I don't really know if she needs the gladiator headband anymore. Hmm. Yeah, he he is quite slow at the moment. But that evasion, I'm not giving up. No, no, no. He has to keep these. 
Who do I give this speed to? Van? V Van could use it. He's going to lose a lot of accuracy, but... And what does this have? And crit? I'd be willing to give up crit for it. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. It's fine. It just makes me think I should probably get him a, a hit three instead of a hit two. Unfortunately, I only have one hit three around. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's going to need a hit three at some point. It's fine. We'll get it in there. I'll, I'll somehow remember. Probably. Wait, when do you back out of that? No, not then. Like, now? Okay. Okay, it's like... After the attack started, but... Almost immediately? Go. And where's the third one? Oh. It was too far. Oh! Oh, and you can't go back in right away. Okay. It's a little strange. It's, a, it's, it's, it's definitely an awkward enemy. What? Why are you up here, Onyas? Oh god, I feel like Judith's probably getting Employee of the Month regardless. I don't I don't think I can avoid it, because I, I enjoy playing as her. Not that I don't enjoy playing other people. But I think Drew is my favorite combatant at the moment. Hmm. That is a weird attack. This way? Look at that st stun, though. Holy. No, Judith, stop. Oh, no. Okay, there are undead under here. This guy's just standing there. All right, what are you called? Misfortune Teller. Oh, I see. I doubt Death Blow will ever work, but I could... Oh, I can't get three? Okay. I don't know if that... I don't know if that was low health or not. Uh, this one. There it is. Ooh. Nice. That went great. You're a true professional, Dan. That looks like a nice test. Okay, these these things are pretty slow. They seem uh, reasonably easy, easy to beat. I don't I don't know if seeing a bunch of those dead was very impressive. Whoever it was that killed them. Clean cuts, though. A chance for a short <laughs> Don't there we go. Clean cuts means sword. Is is uh? She's in a. Is that her name? Is she here? They did say that Ikaruga was on the move, but like, why why would she come here? And why would she be in the sewers? Uh-oh, HP, three? Anyone, anyone need an upgrade? You do. You do. Uh, okay, I'd it's rather give it to Anyas right now. Unfortunately, she, she gets nothing extra out of that. I have a huge excess of water here. I could probably even get rid of Mercy. 
Wait, happen if I get rid of Mercy, I still have six water. Oh, I use seven for resist freeze. It's fine. For now, for now it seems like it's gonna be fine if I get rid of it, but you could do a charge attack too. Let's finish the job. Oh. Activating skill. I just want that to kill it in one hit. Oh. Alright, I actually want to dodge this. There we go. My eyes! You're not considered the high level enemy in here, right? Or the A rank threat that they have? Because these things aren't very strong. Initiating skill. Damn. Okay, it's just one big circle. Oh, these are magic resistant. I didn't even press the button. I love how every enemy, every time I start a shard battle, I don't know who's doing it, but they're freezing all of the enemies. That went better than I anticipated. You were an incredible help. Looks like a chest. Ooh, space art cut by fifty percent, ten ATS on it, and good stats. At what? What is the previous one? I guess it would say verse in it. No one's currently using a verse for that. Give me a minute. I couldn't couldn't find anything useful, so I just put it on fairy. She doesn't even she doesn't even have well. She's got celestial, so that's good. Uh, other than that, like no no one else. Activating maintenance mode. No one else can really benefit from this. So celestial being cast faster would be good. Also, I don't know what to do with her arts category here. Uh, this this one's just kind of random. I don't know. I need to open all the slots and get the final thingy so I, so I can actually plan things out. Because at the moment, it's just a mess. Of this place. Visiting abandoned ruins is kind of fun to me. Weird as that sounds. I mean, I understand. You aren't the only one. There has been a recent uptick in people frequenting these sorts of places. Yeah, much to the chagrin of the guild. Okay, there we go. Take care. It's above an A-level threat. Uh, I definitely do enjoy finding random little out of, out of nowhere places. Awkward looking. Uh, what do you? How do you describe these places? Uh oh, thank God. You know, uh, in in my town, there was a tiny little opening that led into like an underground abandoned tunnel, and it was extremely creepy. But it was it was certainly intriguing and fun to explore. Very scary though. It was a very tiny opening too. Like as soon as I became a teenager, I could barely fit in there. I suggest we spread the shit. I'm sure there was another exit. Probably. I, I never, like, fully explored it. Damn. Oh, you're alive? Finish. There you go. Nice. That went great. New materials. It did? Which one? Oh. Oh, po Pocell. I'm leveled up. Well, if I'm not going to be... Oh, and Cameo. Holy shit. If I'm not going to be using them right now... 
It's only fair that I try to level something else up. Let's craft power. I'm going to give that to Aaron. Physical damage, strength up, defense down on fairy? Let's level up Vine. Vine is now online. That was her original quartz, anyway. You, damn, evasion counter rate 100%. Woo, 50% evasion, more damn it, this is a good one. This That certainly turns him into an evasion tank. But, I need to level up Gap, so. Wait, what about everyone else? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't wanna switch these out. Oh, thank God. Mar Maris stays the same. I don't want to switch theirs out because I'm using them right now, and I don't want to default to something weak. Except for maybe her, I could get away with throwing on the heel one. Yeah, we might as well get that to five. Hey, now online. I'm probably going to forget about this, though. That, that That's the part that worries me. Katra, I don't want to remove Swiftcast. I want to keep that on. Uh, and then... Yay! Ten holo cores max? Damn. Might make it. Maybe. I'm not really going for the platinum right now. I don't, I'm, I'm prepared to do New Game Plus on my own. I'm sure I have to, regardless. Actually, no, I definitely do. There's there's physically no way, apparently, to see all of the movies and, and buy all the brochures. Or something. So, I have to do New Game Plus for that. I think? That's what I was told. Was it the movies, or was it... It might have been the, the La Grey Chaos meter, actually. Oh. Sitting at no health left. I'm not a star for nothing. Hi. Okay. This is the last uh, enemies I'll show, and then we can start start skipping them because we haven't actually we've only fought one of these, but they're not that much different than than every other Venus fly trap that we fought. Might as well do two. Have I got another burst game? Yeah. He's already almost to a hundred again. He could almost triple S craft. Initiating skill. Initiating skill. I wonder how you could make that happen. Actually, no, yeah, I could easily just give him a wild parfait. Alright, any more big enemies, I will skip from now on. Well, unless they're new. Stay out. <laughs> and if I want Rosette to get employee of the month, I have to start doing this. Boost gauge limiter removed. This will hurt. She doesn't have to get the kill, does she? I don't know. I don't know how it works at all. You're a true professional there. Oh. Physical attack Hi. recommended. Alright, these ones are gonna take a minute. There we go. better than I anticipated. Always got it down, reset. Uh, it seems like there are only a few more enemies left. Initiating combat. Hmm. You could do a charge attack too. What? What a weird timing. Nope, I'm just too late. Enemy attack. Time to deploy shots. Activate skill. Oh, that's fine. Physical attack recommended. Oh yeah, definitely skip. Oh, infernal edge. All right, let me look at that. S move or small movement, power A. Okay, it's probably just stronger. I, I can only imagine it's just stronger, but 
damn. So we got an upgrade. Unfortunately, uh, Van died. Or not, not Van. Oh my god, I am pressing all of the persona buttons. Judith died, and she has no CP. So if I find a thing, I'm going to reload the enemies and just hit them with, with Judith to get her 200 CP. I'm sure there'll be one up here, right? That looks like a nice chest. Ooh. Come on. Oh, no. There are even more monster corpses here. Who's doing all this? I see I slash marks everywhere. Could it be her? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm getting worried. Okay, so you think it's her as well. Yeah. I was going to say, slash marks kind of... kind of indicate that it, it's probably she's in But I just don't know why she'd be here. Looks like we can rest here. Or why he would deliberate... Like, there's no way he didn't know she was coming down here and then have us go meet with her or something. I, I, I don't Ooh, know. That hits the spot. Okay, give me a minute. All right, did a bunch of uh, setup nonsense. I made a Crimson Tear, which was like two red metals together. 30 strength on it, so I, c I couldn't turn it down. And I gave it to Judith to, you know, just give her a little extra strength on top of that. I finally took all the Proverbs and was able to make the Samsara one, which is 10 speed, 100 accuracy, and, and 20 crit. So, yeah, he he's definitely going to use that. Even though currently he's kind of built for evasion, I, I don't know. I, I still I still like this. Other than that, I got the hit three, so we should be all good now. That didn't really do anything for him though, did it? It just gave him. Oh, it was for his accuracy. It wasn't. It had nothing to do with the shard skills. Yeah, that's fine though. Yeah, so I got that. I don't. I think I replaced anything else. I don't know. These updates are not super essential. All right, let me save. All right, done. And I guess I made food. More, more wild parfaits, if anyone cares to know. <laughs> oh, it was Elaine. Elaine! I'm going to need you to fall back, Elvis. I'll take care of these. What? No! That's too much to handle, even for you! Damn. See, I thought it was Shizuna because there were some monsters left behind. Like, a bracer wouldn't leave anything behind, but... Huh. She's incredible! I recognize her. She's one of the guild's a rank bracers, right? Knew it. Huh? What are you guys doing here? I'm glad you're all right, Alphys. You can hang back for this one. We'll make sure she comes out of this unscathed. Ah! Manius, Judith and I are going to join up with Elaine. The rest of you can take the other one. Understood. Leave it to us. I don't know if she needs our help. She's really going all out. I've heard rumors about Beauty's blade strength, but they don't do her justice. You sure she needs backup? Maybe not, but she's throwing caution to the wind here. I don't like it. Not one bit. That's true. Elaine, we're here to help. It's no use. She's completely absorbed in her fight. What's the plan? I don't think we can just jump into the fray. You're hopeless, Van. It's a good thing I'm here to babysit you. You'd be a lost cause without me. Shut up, Lainey! And what do you mean by babysit? I'm older than you! <laughs> ah, you two are such children. I suppose it's up to me to teach you how to behave. Young Van sounds like fairy. <laughs> Get a grip, Lainey! <laughs> Van? Why are you... Is this an off day or something? The blade works sloppy, and you're totally oblivious to your surroundings. Now look over there! Uh, 
My assistants have that one unlocked, so we'll lend you a hand here. <laughs> Fine, then. Hmm. You have my support. We'll take it down in no time. This... Th this thing's... This thing's crazy looking. All laney. Um, you have a lost or a free arc. Keep it up, it's working. I mean, uh, she has decent art damage. Checking enemy stats. Things weak to win though. Preferably, I think I need to get some speed up really quick. Finish him, Ben. Elaine, you joining the party right right now? I would like that. Oh, he's really weak to that, but I, I do need him to tank, so. First, and back to 200. I probably should have put a shield on him. Oh, God. Can I do this? Uh, yeah, it's only going to be on him. That was, that was most of my shield. That's a great time for a shark boost. Sure. Shield. Uh, do you have some sort of defense down that I could take? Ailment resistance down is not going to help me here. You know what? Elaine, don't look. <laughs> gonna know the truth all right I think I think I'm going to just just do it yeah there we go oh half health all right I know I just went grim cat with you but how about we should go on the attack bam Love me a sugar rush. Why not? <laughs> He's already at 40 CP again? Oh, man. Uh, you should just attack. Um, can you make it over to him? Certain arts will be more effective. Yeah. Alright, it's our turn. No! Oh, yeah, that's fair. Don't stop now, man. I hate I hate to like take away Elaine's spotlight, but going all in. Van? Oh, we don't even have enough. I should have given it to Grimcast. Damn it. I won't lose. It's so close. Alright, just hit him. You can't back. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> He's dead. Decent experience. Found crimson. Well, we make short short work of that one. Are you guys all right? <sighs> <sighs> Listen, I know the incident in Cray came as a shock. It did for all, us all. You can't lose your cool like this. An A rank ra bracer has got to be calm and composed, even when the going gets tough. Who do you think you're? Take some deep breaths. Everything's gonna be fine. I'll be trying times ahead, sure, but we'll we'll get through them. Just like just gotta take things one step at a time. That goes for everyone here, not just you and me. I know that. I know that. I'm trying so hard to stay calm, but even still, we. No, I couldn't protect them. I'm supposed to be a beacon of strength for the people. And I failed them! Um... There's nothing she could have done here. Only I didn't let that man escape back in Longboard. 
Oh. No, even before that. If I just hadn't... Elaine. Sounds like you're bottling something up. You need someone to lend an ear. I'm here for you. Are you really? Then tell me, Van. Why did you leave me? I... I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. We defeated both of our targets, and we may not have done so without your timely aid. I apologize for how I treated you back there, Elvis. You fought admirably. Elaine. I'm going to take my leave now. I still have other work to do. I'll make certain you get compensated for your portion of the work. The loss of Dingo Brad was nothing short of tragedy. There were times when he beat us to the punch, but his intelligence proves, proved indispensable on a number of occasions. Same for me, too. If you can, try and keep an eye on the Tyrell Times reporter. She's getting dangerously cr close to the criminal underworld, and she doesn't seem to be taking any of my warnings to heart. Elvis, we're leaving. Uh, wait! She's just as strong as everyone claims. But I'm a little worried about her now. What could have compelled her to be so reckless in that fight? Also... Also? Well, I guess we know why that presidential aide sent us down here. So what's next? Should we go check up on that reporter? That might be prudent. If she is closing in on Criminal Underworld, the criminal underworld, then she can only be headed to one place. Uh, the so-called Blacklight District, correct? Yeah, if she's there, we gotta drag her out. That place is crawling with criminals of all shapes and sizes. Wonder how she found out about that place, though. Dingo never would have told her about it, or shared its location with her. Well, there's more than one way to crack an egg. Right, as she could have found out from some of her other connections. I'm worried about her. Let's find her. Can't hurt to check and see if she's alright. Yeah, I agree. We should head straight there. No time to waste. That's all, folks. Mira deposit confirmed. I was really hoping we were going to get just a little bit of whatever... I want to know the reason, too. Van, why did you leave her? What happened? C can you tell me? Nothing to do that way. Weird. Random. Oh, well, I mean, obviously, th there would be two doors in any normal place. Camera? Okay. Okay, my stick's doing the thing. <sighs> Got that one. All right. Off to... I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh. Huh? That is you, isn't it, Judith? Did you dye your hair? Uh, Judith, you're still in disguise. N -n nope, nothing like that. See, I was just trying out a new wig, that's all. Uh, what's up, Nina? Did I did tell you I won't be back for a while, didn't I? You did, but Mr. Gotti insisted that I get in touch with you right away. He's pushing the whole film industry to release a statement and make a donation in response to Cray. Hmm, I see. I'm a little tied up, so I can't do anything right this second, I'm afraid. Can I call you back of tonight? Of course. Take care and talk to you later, then. You too, thanks. Look at Gotti. Supporting. That's a big surprise coming from the director. Doesn't feel like him, but maybe he's the type to take action when shit hits the fan. Yeah, indeed. He strikes me n as not only a passionate man, but a compa compassionate one as well. <laughs> For sure. Well, I'm with him. I'm not gonna let this tragedy stand, not as someone in the film industry or as a thief. We're absolutely going to take Almada down for this, but we have to know what we're up against if we're going to protect all we can. Exactly. I couldn't agree more. 
I don't know. I have a feeling we're just gonna... <sighs> I can't help but worry about her sometimes. She's a little too single-minded for her own good. She's a little... Yeah. Though I suppose that's why she's the genuine article. Unlike me. Hello? Any news to report? <sighs> I see. So that's where the filming will be taking place. Just as we thought. The only question now is who the final cast will be. You don't have long until the shoot begins, it seems. What the... <laughs> okay. So is Nina... Nina's in on it too, like Hermes? Are they part of the, the project? That, that F definitely didn't sound like actual filming. She's just using those terms. But, hmm. I never would have imagined there was a place like this in Edith before coming here. I'm not surprised. And, and is it just me, or does this district seem to be even more on edge than usual? It makes sense that it would be. I imagine a number of secret agents are down here, investigating after what happened. I'd assume so, too. This may be the closest thing Edith has to a lawless district, but the authorities can't afford to turn a blind eye right now. Well, guess we should snoop around the shops and see if anyone's seen that reporter anywhere. Yeah, let's get moving. This feels like... Feels like... Fan? Fan, too many people... Too many people are being vague right now. Too, too many people. Can someone finish a sentence? <laughs> okay, we're being followed. I th I'm sure that's what it is. Uh, you... Wait. Let me just... Deep end. Show of force. Knocked my supply. Okay. So people that are gray are probably still gray. I have already looked around here, so... What are you doing? Did you hear that? Yeah, I knew it. Let go of me! I said, let go! Huh, you were the one who started piling on the questions. Nothing in life comes free, young lady. Now we get to enjoy our rightful reward. Come on. Somebody needs to go back to Sunday school, because that sure ain't, doesn't sound like the definition of rightful to me. Just who the hell are you? Arkwright Solutions. Uh, she really was down here. Are those people Jaegers? I don't think so. That get up there wearing looks familiar, though. I think their name was Bugbear? <laughs> ah, them. Uh, their level threat level is a mere C-. minus. <laughs> hey, you looking for a fight, lady? Man, this sucks. We were gonna take advantage of this mess Almada's made to finally get our name out there. But all this state of emergency crap has got us stuck where we are. It's pissing me off. Wow, what a bunch of losers. No wonder they're called Jaeger dropouts. I'm sure they've still seen enough combat to be a problem, though. Huh? I only just realized. But they've got some real lookers on them, too. Guess we'll have to get to have some fun after the, we show him who's boss. Ugh, this is so dumb. Time to take him down. Typical. <laughs> Let's see what you're made of. Real lookers, huh? Oh, damn it! I was really gonna just double, res, double reset gun. But... Sure, hit them all with the side. Yeah, you guys don't have health. Judith. Oh, I can't afford it. No. Alright. No, there's two. Okay. Boost gauge Alright, that's two of them gone. Hmm. Yeah, I'll hit you with that. Oh, wait. I thought I had time to move someone over to her. Damn. Sealed. 
Activating skill. <laughs> Activating skill. All right. Oh, I could do better. Trash mobs. Yeah, that was that was just pathetic. Their threat level is closer to a D or a D minus, it would seem. Uh, damn it! I thought these guys were just a bunch of rookies. Ah, uh, fine. Have it your way. Reinforcements coming in. Oh no, D doggies! Of course, they'd have military monsters at their beck and call. It's not going to be easy fighting off this many while defending her. Huh. Looks like the tables have turned, huh? It figures, though. These days, uh, Calvard's full of wusses who are so used to peace they've forgotten how to fight. I bet Hayway would just roll over, too. Maybe we should try getting ourselves hired by the new big boys in town. These guys... Do these guys know anything about, like... That... They're making a lot of assumptions here. What? How can you suggest that? Do you even understand what you're saying? Hey, you yeah, would just roll over, would they? Ooh, get him. That's not who you want to see. Huh? Wait. G again? Where's Risha? What? What? What just happened? Well... You aren't putting up much of a fight. Perhaps you ought to consider hanging up the Jaeger's uniform if you cannot act the part. Th those are... Haley's Shang Shou. I've heard rumors, but I've never seen them in person. Their strength is, is supposed to be comparable to her. You just... You, you're obsessed with R Risha, I know. I wish to just say Risha. I guess they would, they'd say Yin. D d don't be scared. We still have the upper hand in numbers. Yeah. Uh, deploy all the military so monsters. That you don't misunderstand. We are not the main threat you face here. But what? Uh oh. <laughs> Is it time? <laughs> How? That is a shame. Your prowess is sorely lacking. <clears throat> Isn't that the guy we passed on the way to Long Light? You have a good memory. Oh, the, the one with the giant Atois spike. Oh. I must apologize. I see I overdid it some. Though I did restrain myself. That's a good boy. No trouble caused, no trouble faced. So then, what will the rest of you be doing? Uh, excuse us, sir. We're leaving now. Um... Can't top uh, real life for the best visual effects, huh? He sent both man and monster flying through the air. I would expect no less from the famed lion. Your strength only seems to have grown since your active days. <laughs> I no longer go by that name, and I would very much appreciate you forgetting it. Thank you for leading me here, Elder. Not at all. That wasn't the only reason I came here, and I'm sure with circumstances as they are, that I am going to be relying on you significantly in the days to come. I see. It's good to see you all again. I hadn't expected we would meet so soon upon my arrival. Hmm. Ah, can't believe two old coggers rolled our right up and hogged all the limelight. But what are you even doing here? Our course of action has been decided, you see. Hey, you as response to currently unfolding events. So your preparations are complete then? Indeed. The mists have cleared. And we have exactly the number of pieces that we require. Okay. Until the matter has been fully resolved, we will also be assuming control of the Blacklight District. Ooh. That is in accordance with our agreement with this nation's supreme authority. 
Th then the president signed off on this? And what do you mean by the mist have cleared? <laughs> it's time you decided your next move. Though I would suggest you listen to what my friend here has to say before doing so. Farewell for now, Aaron. I will be in touch. Hey! Man, didn't think he'd come all this way in person. Bond's probably still in Longport, but now I really want to know what the pieces he re mentioned refer to. Gotta be as vague as possible. Uh, are you alright, Finn? Yep. This is him, alright. This is how he's always been. He looks normal on the surface, yet everything he does is batshit crazy. Like wandering off with some stupid dangerous object back when he was younger. <laughs> that certainly brings back memories. Yet I have discarded my past now, and I would ask that you discard it as well. My old greenhorn student, Van. This is Van's former master? The one he said was like a father to him? Um, but wasn't he... I've got more to say than there are stars in the sky. But let me start with this. Punch! Why are you still alive when you supposedly died three years ago, Master Barkhorn? Oh man, he didn't punch him? What? 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 I am Bear Guard Zeman, though I was once known by another name. How many names does this man have? <laughs> I see you have brought quite a number of fledglings under your wing, Van. Very interesting. Not as interesting as the dead man who's back from the grave. Mind sharing how you manage that? That is a very long story. Another time, perhaps. What? Hard to believe it's already been five years. Even harder to believe you're the same troublemaker I once knew. And that those same words of wisdom would come from your mouth, no less. I see you are living in accordance with your own principles. Except the one about sweets. But please, I didn't do anything. I just echoed the words of a much wiser man. Is my man being bashful? Never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> this is cer it's certainly a rare sight. It's rather cute, to be honest. Oh, shove it. <laughs> well, you did a good job putting Mario at ease. Y yes, I think you helped her regain some of her old spirit. Oh, fla flashback again. I'm so sorry for all the trouble I caused you. I'm such an idiot. I just got tunnel vision and let myself get all carried away. Dingo always warned me about this. But look at me. I haven't learned a thing. Mario. Oh. I ain't gonna tell you not to push the envelope. That's in a reporter's job description. Just make sure you don't forget what Dingo said. Think about what you can do, and what you want to do. You'll find a clue on how to move forward in the gap between the two. He used to tell me that a lot back when we first met. As long as you don't stop thinking, there's gonna be a, a way to bridge that gap. You just gotta find it. We're working on his last request right now. We won't be able to do it alone, but we're planning to make up for our shortcomings with help from others. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if that brought us to you before long. We'll need help from more than shady folks. So keep your head high, and let's all do the jobs we're best for, if nothing else than to prove his words right. Right! I don't know how much of a contribution I'll be able to make, but I'll start being more mindful of my cans and wants. And I'll do it while finding a way to move forward. Hmm. Those words were quite touching, a very befitting of you and of Mr. Brad. Yeah, they resonated deeply with me as well. Thinking about the gap between what I can do and what I want to do is an interesting thought experiment, if nothing else. Heh. <laughs> can we please move on from this topic? Oh yeah. I shall let my employees introduce themselves. Anya, so you go first. Gladly. My name is... Oh, thank God. <laughs> 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 
Wow, that's quite a history. Honestly, I had trouble keeping up with it all. So, you were among the twelve knights who led the church's Grawlsritter. I've heard much about your various exploits, a roaring lion. It's a famous name in a lot of circles, so it's not surprising. Oh, oh there's Gaius now. Wait, why? Once again, that name is no longer mine. I would ask that you keep that in mind. Now we know why you we passed you on the way to Long Lai. So you arranged our invitation there, and I'm guessing a few others played a part in that as well. Namely, Professor Hamilton, Haley's future elder, uh, the Crown Prince of Alzheim, and former President Rocksmith, am I correct? What do you mean you're guessing? We were told. Bullseye. <laughs> I happen to be acquainted with all of them, including the Grand Prince of Alzheim and Elder Guillen. The former president was anxious to make your acquaintance, and I believe meeting him would prove to be beneficial for your future. Oh, it pains me that a well-intentioned invitation coincided with such a horrific tragedy. Hey, it's not like you could have seen that one coming. Even if we hadn't been in Long Lai, we would have been powerless to stop it regardless. Yeah, the only one who could have foretold that would be the goddess herself. Anyway, I knew you'd gone off to the Empire after you finished training me five years ago. That's probably the thumbnail. Then I heard you bit the dust during a border dispute in Nort. They said you laid down your life protecting one of your students. Okay, that's also a good job. <laughs> but here you are, alive and well. You treated death and carried on living, just without your title and mark. Don't pry into what you've been doing all these years, but can you at least tell me why you never contacted me? Before I answer, I should note that you were not the only one in the dark. I did not reach out to my other students either, and I never intended to do so. I wanted you all to walk your own paths, and I intended to leave my survival a secret. A trump card that I could pull out in the wake of a crisis. Ah. I'm guessing you have figured it was time to play that card then, to help us with this crisis. Correct. I have news regarding the Mafia Almada and the assassins of the Gardens. Oh, please. Their whereabouts were discovered several hours ago. What? Where? Almada's leader and executives, as well as the Gardens' overseers, have established a new base. And it is located in a city within this very country. <laughs> What's more, that information has been passed around to all the major players in this nation. Wait, uh, all of them? I guess that means the army, police, and guild are all in the know. I assume Hayaway and other Jaeger Corps are also aware of this new base. Yes. I imagine they are all preparing to take action at this very moment. This country's supreme authority is no exception. They have resolved to quell the unfolding chaos. And they will do so by any means necessary, even if that involves fighting one evil with another. So that's what Giam was talking about earlier. I'm sure ma many Jaeger Corps will be all over this, my people included. Martuk HQ will likely be making their move as well. Y you can't be serious. All of these groups are go going to flood the city at once? So where do you stand in all this, Master? Why are we not asking what city? I guess you wouldn't tell us until... We know everything. By the sound of it, uh, these people are going to try to capture Almada alive. Or go after their heads. Some might even be aiming to get their grubby little hands on one of those nuclear devices. True? That would be really bad. Granted, I don't know how likely that is. Just having one of those things would make you public enemy number one. It ain't a stretch, though. There's plenty of historical precedent for groups using artifacts as weapons. So, given the stakes, what are you planning to do? As it stands, I am effectively dead. If the people of my former home decide to act, I will not join them, nor stand in their way. However, now that the gift of life has been bestowed upon me once more, 
I intend to honor it by supporting the youths whose futures are so bright. And okay. also to keep them safe from venomous fiends like these unwanted guests of yours. Uh. uh oh. <laughs> Who's at the door? What? Hey, we're busy in here. Afraid you'll have to come back another day. And so, what a shame. Uh-oh. And after we came all this way to give you a job and a little souvenir from your reporter friend. Fine. Get in here. You that it reel you in. Thanks, bud. <laughs> no excuse us. Oh, it's just those two. Thank God. They seem a little more conniving and less uh, immediately prone to action, at the, at the very least. I recognize you too. It's a shady duel from that nightclub in Tharbad. I also met you back in Long Lai. <laughs> just oh, in case you were... <laughs> you recognized me after all? <laughs> Nice to finally meet you all, ladies and gentlemen of Arkride Solutions. Oh, now there's a face I never thought I'd see again. Oh, neither did I. Tell me, what's a dead man doing out of his coffin? Oh, now he's not voiced. Uh, I was granted life once more, and I don't need to tell you the reason why because you already no need know to give us the death glare you old fossil we've traded many friendly blows in the past haven't we why don't we bury the hatchet let's be like the jaegers embrace yesterday's foe as today's friend his chin is going through his coat i'm afraid i'll have to decline had the azure abyss or the late steel maiden made the suggestion i would have entertained the thought not for you, though. N never in a million years. <laughs> He's got your number, dear. No one will ever reconcile with you. And for that, you've no one to blame but yourself. You're on thin ice. But your words are laced with the truth. Venomous though they are. I get it now? Good. I don't. You're the guy Direwolf and Ren warned us about. Y you're part of Ouroboros then? Wait, no, what? And one of their highest ranking members at that. Oh! <laughs> the name's Elroy Harwood. I'm the fourth Anguis. Okay. But you can just call me the Oathbreaker. Everyone does. What? How did I not connect that i just immediately put them in in the garden category what i am in forza number three lucrezia isoli wait what wait hold hold up hold up okay <laughs> i was having a a, a a mental break there thinking about this uh i've definitely heard conversations from other members of Ouroboros talking about him, but I don't know if I've ever actually heard about the Oathbreaker other than like a few lines before. But the fourth was always a mystery for me. Enforcer number three, though. I swear I've heard the, go the name Golden Butterfly before. Or is it because it's so similar to Sharon? What is Sharon's title? Oh my god, that's what I should have looked up. That's what I was... <laughs> right, she's the Severing Eclipse. Okay, that has nothing to do with it. I feel like Sharon at one point has mentioned Golden Butterfly. Someone has. They had to have. I'm delighted to make your acquaintance, Arkwright Solutions. But then again, as an enforcer, it's not like they'd have be... They know each other on a personal level. It's more they were both enforcers, right? 
Yeah, so I don't know if that's a big deal. Why did I think you two were... <laughs> garden? Hey, put that away. This is a smoke for your building. Really now? Very well. I promise I won't smoke in here. Ooh, accidentally went and made an oath there. And I can't afford to keep those. <laughs> oh, God. I've got a reputation and a title to uphold, you see. Gotta break an oath or two from time to time. That's a little on the nose. From time to time? <laughs> you break oaths and rules as easily as you breathe. <laughs> true. True. Ugh. Anyway, on to business. I want you to go on a little trip for me. Are you for real? You're joking. What? You're not up for it? Strange. I thought I heard you took work from anyone. Yeah, if the work's reasonable, and if I like you, and your likability's going and up in smoke faster than the tobacco in that cigar. I know you guys are after Almada. Hell, you probably know where they're at, too. But before we ask you where that is, I need to know why you co you've come you to, to us. You kidding me. Do I really gotta spell it out? It's cause you kids will make things way more fun. F f fun How can you even say that? There's nothing fun about this whole ordeal. Don't waste your energy on this guy. He isn't someone you can appeal to with logic or reason. The society has already decided its course of action for this whole thing. And I'm leading the charge. Okay. At least we have new Ouroboros members instead of... You know, the same three coming Enforcer back. Enforcer number three will be backing me up. And so will Enforcer number eight, who you already know so well. The goal is to round up the members of Almada and the Gardens. And murder every last one of them. Oh, damn. I see. And you ain't doing so in the name of justice, I'm nope. guessing. Had they kept to their little dog and pony shows, we wouldn't lay a finger on them. Honestly, I rather enjoyed kicking back and watching them wreak havoc. But they've become a threat to our plans now, and we can't have that. If those little bugs want to punch above their weight, then we'll crush them beneath our feet. <laughs> Though no doubt it will be easier said than done. They're both troublesome and insidious, and some rather formidable guests will be joining their party. Right, you will have some fierce competition. Everyone's got different aims here. Some want them brought to justice. Some want them dead and buried. Heiyue will surely be joining the fray, and I'll bet the Jaeger Corps will be after their bounty. I'm guessing Marduk HQ will be there too, yeah? More than likely. The guild won't stand idly by, either. Same goes for the Grell's Ritter. Artifacts are involved in this, after all. And I wouldn't be surprised if other forces from the church showed up as oh, well. right. You got students in other parts of the church, not just the Grawlsritter. Things are gonna get interesting then. Must be tough being a master. <laughs> I don't envy you. If that is what fate has in store, then I will follow it. You needn't concern yourself with me. Regardless, that should serve as the basic overview of the situation. Almada and the Gardens will not be the only sources of mischief in that city. That city. One wrong move and the whole affair could turn into an indiscriminate bloodbath. So someone ought to keep an eye on the little guys, don't you think? In other words, civilians might get killed and you're, you aren't going to look after them. You guys are scum. Still, if Almada really does have another nuclear, nuclear weapon in their position, <laughs> possession, we have no choice but to get involved. You can use whatever justification you want. I don't really care why you join, just so long as you do. Because if you don't, this whole thing will be a snooze cruise from start to finish. I need you kiddos to prevent this battle from being too one-sided. Hmm. 
The hell do you mean by that? The guild's the only one in this brawl that's going to be fighting for the common man. If we add you to the mix, however, it'll make for a more balanced blend. A recipe that's made for chaos. I... Oh. And should you happen to run into us, I'd like you to come at me knives out. And ready to cut me into a million little pieces. What? I'm very much into that sort of thing. Huh. You were one masochistic bastard. Well, we've got our reasons for chasing Almada down, so I'm not opposed to doing this on the side. But first, I need to get one thing straight. I have a hunch you guys have some connection to either Almada or the Gardens. So spill it. What kind of relationship does Zoroboros have with them? <sighs> well, it isn't a close one, if that's what you're wondering. We haven't exactly been keeping in touch as of late. But your hunch is on point. We do have a connection with the Gardens. You see, the two of us were once part of the Order of the hmm? Moonlight Horse, an organization of assassins. Okay. That is Sharon's... Fourteen years ago, Ouroboros destroyed the Order, but they extended a hand to the two of us and brought us into the fold. Although they did not do the same for many of its other members. The society is a small group of elites, and they only accept the best and brightest. Fortune had not abandoned them, however. Shortly after, another villainous group was nearly wiped out in a major operation. My companion here herded the lost sheep of both groups and let them form their own flock. Wait. You don't mean... Huh. Has it already been 14 years? <laughs> Time sure flies when you're having fun. And the society has offered me a wealth of entertainment. From the data available to Marduk, there's only one operation that matches her story. I really hope it ain't the one I'm... ain't the one I'm thinking of. Please tell me the group y'all are talking about isn't it's exactly as you think the dg cult wait a minute so you no no i got brought in by ouroboros another group appeared nearly wiped out a major right Herded the lost sheep of both groups. So, wait, D DG was wiped out, and then he herded people from DG to form the garden. No. You know the ones, the devil worshippers that spread chaos across the Republic and the continent as a whole. No way. I've heard about those fiends from Sao. And I heard about them from my Grammy. I brought the remnants of the Moonlight Horse and the DG cult together and set them loose on the world. That's Why? how the gardens were created. They find seeds that are scattered by the wind and grow them into fresh assassins that are ripe for the picking. Had I left them alone, the founding members would have rotted away, and their budding talent would have died on the vine. But, by mixing the leftovers of the cult and the order, I created a chemical reaction more potent than my wildest imagination could have conjured. I gave that one domino a little push, and look at all the tragedies and pain that befell the world. <laughs> Jesus. That would explain- I'm guessing Melchior's probably from the DG cult then, if anything. I, I, I guess both, both sides were absolutely insane. Both the Order and the cult. How, how could you? So this is all your fault. I take back what I said earlier. You aren't just a masochistic bastard, you were also a sadistic monster. Can't say you're wrong. My colleagues, like the Wellspring Alchemist and the Professor, 
never go far enough for my tastes. But that's humanity for you. No one's the same. We've all got our own desires that make us tick. Yeah, and those things that make you tick just so happen to tick me off. I get what you want us to do, though. It all comes also comes at a perfect time, given Dingo's last request. Fan, I don't like the idea of getting involved with these shitheads, but you might be right. So, this gathering will include Marduk, Hayaway, the Guild, and many other formidable groups. Loath as I am to admit it, we will require their aid if we are to force our way inside. Surely there's another way. Yeah, I do not want to ha the ha to help a pair of cold-blooded killers. Oh, you do not need to think of it as helping us. You may instead think of it as entering a mutually beneficial relationship, where our goal is simply to use one another for our own ends. I can take charge of laying the groundwork for the requests you'll get at the city. Those will mm. keep you plenty busy. I'll even throw in a couple that'll give you a real thrill. Sure, just, just you know, normal four SPGs from, from him. Uh, as long as you don't slip a trap or two in them. My my, they really don't trust you, do they? Anyway, sounds like we have ourselves a deal. Oh, almost forgot the other reason I came to this little office. Here's that souvenir I mentioned earlier. A Genesis. Oh. Are you sure it's safe? If you're worried about radiation, don't be. The professor, our technical expert, looked into the matter, and he found no traces of it whatsoever. The three disciples are probably racking their brains about that mystery this very moment. There's no radioactive contamination, but all of the theories we have suggest... No, wait. Perhaps they don't apply because the bomb was detonated in a non-traditional manner. Hmm. I'm so lost. Hang on a sec. You nabbed the camera before the authorities locked the scene down. How did the camera make it out? It looks melted, you know, somewhat melted, but... You'd think that it would have been completely incinerated. I want to ask how you managed to get there ahead of the cops, because if I heard the answer... You'd be leaving this room in, with a big old black eye. Ooh, scary. It's in our hands now, Dingo. Guess we'll be off. We wouldn't want to overstay our welcome now, would we? I can hardly wait to see how you and those relics of yours will liven things up. He knows about the Genesis? I haven't got a clue what you're on about. So, you gonna tell us where, where we're going or not? Her thing lit up. <laughs> Why don't you ask the defanged lion? I've done enough talking for one day. Well then, have a lovely rest of your day. Sir, it's one word. You just have to say the name of the play. Maybe it's two words, but... <laughs> Ugh. Glad you were here, Master. I doubt I would have been able to keep my cool otherwise. Nonsense. You would have handled things just fine on your own. You held your ground against well against them. You've grown into a fearless leader in my absence. I think you're giving me too much credit. Alright, guys. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna ask that you all stay here. I'm going solo on this one? Uh-uh. Huh? But why? This is too dangerous. This is their turf. And everyone there will be playing by their rules. There's no telling what'll happen there. And I can be a lot more flexible if I'm on my own. No, but I can make an exception for Master. I figure I'm gonna need his help at least. You figure right. And that is precisely why I came in the first place. What? Don't get me wrong. I don't think of y'all as a burden. This is just the best division of labor. I'll need you to gather info, be the point of contact for other groups, work with the guild, and... <laughs> hey. You done flapping your gums yet? Good. Because I stopped listening when I heard the words, it's too dangerous. I appreciate that you're worried about us. I really do. However, 
We all have our reasons for wanting to go along with you. Mine is to ensure the nuclear devices can never again be used for malicious means. Marduk considers this crisis to be a matter of grave concern, so it is only logical that I also accompany you. You said it yourself. I'm not even a part-timer here to begin with, which means you can't order me around. Ooh. I'm a phantom thief, so I'm gonna steal this show whether you like it or not. Come on, you guys. I haven't been stealing my nerves all this time for nothing. I'm not letting anything get between me and my sweet, sweet revenge. I don't know if you should just... That's Even if fine. you fire me, I'll just hitch a ride with Heiyue instead. Could you just change that to justice? And I'd try to join up with the warriors of Kruga. I would really rather go with everyone here, though. I want to tackle this thing head on, the Spriggan way. Naturally, I would like to accompany you as well, not just because of the Genesis, though I'll admit that is a factor. More importantly, I feel this conflict is born from the source of Calvert's turmoil, the distortions in the everyday world I know and the underworld. If my feeling is correct, then I want, no, must see this through to its conclusion. I recognize this may be a harrowing experience for me, but even so, I am determined to confront the harsh realities that lie in wait. So take me with you, Van. Please. Agnes. Wow. <sighs> <sighs> Somehow I knew it'd end up like this one way or the other. Another. Unlucky for you, though. The trouble isn't happening on a weekend or school during a school trip. You're gonna have to play hooky. I know, Ooh. and I do feel guilty about it. Still, I have a plan in mind, so don't worry. Ren's gonna dress up as Anius and go to school. I'm starting to think I have a, I'm a bad influence. I'll make sure you get paid in advance. That way you'll have the mirror for the bribes and hush money. I wasn't planning on going that far. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Van's right. He really is a bad influence on you. <laughs> Okay, then. Now that we've got all that squared away, mind sharing the location of the base? Right. We need to know where they are so we can kick their sorry butts. Hmm. <laughs> Very well, then. Skip to the next scene and we're never gonna hear it. The base of operations is located in the third largest city in the Republic, as well as its oldest. It is also the place where the terrorists of Calvert get much of their funding. Anchorville? Actually, where is it? The old city capital, Rossian. Oh. That is where they have set the stage for their carnival of chaos. Huh. I somehow just assumed we'd never go there. <laughs> Weird. Wait, what Gotta do you keep mean? This up. Huh? God, Zeman. Oh my! They <laughs> have lost my life once, but that alone would never be enough to stop me. Okay, okay. There are a lot of shocking things in this chapter, but I think this might be the most shocking. Uh, until he was like, uh, "You're coming with me," but I thought he'd be a guest. You're welcome to the team. Are we at the end of the chapter? What the hell? What the hell is this? No, that's, that can't be. That's not the end of... I didn't even get a trophy. Nah, this is just like a, a big moment. Halfway chapter or something. Maybe they're do just doing this because we recruited someone and they have to go to a, a save like this after they do the results. Probably. Well, I'm going to end this here. That was that was a lot. That was, that was a lot. Uh, almost got... A lot of info that I, I wanted to hear. There were a lot of vague uh, side things going on there. We actually learned who those two people are about, and I was not expecting Ouroboros. I don't know why. Uh, I just wasn't. I wasn't expecting it at all. Mostly because they mentioned that in, in Tharbad, they mentioned when they were on top of the roof, they're like, uh, my... Oh my, uh, how they've grown and stuff. M made me think that they're like the leaders of the garden, and that, you know... Their, their children are doing their own thing now. But that's actually not wrong. He created 
their gardens or the garden, essentially. But he's not part of it. He's part of Ouroboros, which is insane. And yeah, I think everything got mentioned that I'm that I've been wondering about for a while. I don't know. I I have questions, but like the scene was so long that I'm I'm actually like I forgot what I was going to talk about. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Next episode. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you like it, and I will see you in the next one.